Media Group annual red carpet celebration. That's where you all go, yay! Yeah. Yeah. I'm your host for the evening. I'm your host for the evening, Nicole. <laughs> so, this is my daughter, Nicole. And we want to open today. Uh, I want to first say thank you to everybody for coming out tonight. I know, you know, the weather and the rain and there's a lot going on right now. So I know you guys could be anywhere else tonight and I thank you so much for being here with us. So um, we're going to start the evening and we're going to move through it quickly because because of the rain and delays, we got a little bit behind. We're going to make up for time, so I'm going to do some speed talking tonight. Okay, but I first want to start out and introduce uh, Monica Andrews, who's going to come up and just say a few minutes words, prayer, and, and just uh, we're going to get our day moving, okay? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm going to ask you to open up your hearts, your minds, and bow your heads. Let's go together in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you so, so much for this day, for allowing each and every one of us to wake up first in our right minds, then to be able to make it throughout that the entire day up to this moment, to this point, Father. Thank you for all that have put everything together to make this event happen, all the hard work, the love, the sweat, the tears, Father, that have gone into everything that we see now, everything that we are experiencing, everything that we feel, Father God. Thank you for the entrepreneurs, those that know how to step out and step out feeling alone, Father God, feeling, uh, only leading to you, feeling like a lot of times it's just you and they, them, you and them, you and us, you and me, you and the entrepreneur, the person that knows that they're doing something against the grain from what they tell us from day to day, Father. And we just appreciate each and every one that's here. We thank you for the vendors. We thank you for the entertainers. We thank you for the preparers. We thank you for the, the, um, the, those that will be cleaning up, those that have cleaned up before. We arrive, Father God. We thank you for safe travels. We thank you for the discount on the everything, on the parking as, as um, our awesome Janice. And she's been working so, so hard. We thank you for the fifth, the fifth, technically the fifth um, event, the fifth red carpet event that JMD Entertainment has put on. Lord. We thank you for the challenges that she's been through, the author, being an author of our book, and, and just being the... Uh, model entrepreneur being it, it doesn't matter what challenges that you throw her way or that you allow to be thrown her way she always comes and makes this happen father we thank you for her tenacity for her love for her passion and what you purpose her to do father god i ask that each and every one that's in this room that is in, in um, earshot of my voice that you allow them, if they don't already know what their purpose and their passion is, that you allow them to get that from this event tonight, Lord. I thank you for that in advance, and I ask that if there is if there is any doubt when they leave out of here, Father, that they are in fact, that's the seed that's planted, so you will walk, have them walk, and then they will in fact find that passion very soon and, and walk in it, because you gave each and every one of us a purpose to be here. And we know that. We thank you for that. We know that when we walk in our purpose, nothing can stop us because we're walking with you and what you put us here for from the beginning before we even knew that we were coming, Lord. We appreciate that. We appreciate that so, so much, Father. We thank you for the food that you are blessing us with, for the hands that prepared it, that it nourishes our body, Father. We thank you for the music, for the, the um, spirits, for the, uh, the and, and the safe ride home, Father God. And you know, I just have to say, that we, we definitely want to thank you for the eternal life, for Jesus. I know maybe everyone here may not feel that peace, but I thank you and anyone else that with me. And, and I want to also just thank you for those, whatever, wherever their belief, their spirit is from. We want to thank you for that, okay? That we're all here on one accord to make this night a fantastic, purposeful night, such that everyone wins. In the name of Jesus, I ask. All this. Amen. 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 Andrews, thank you for that word. I don't know if we should clap, but I'm going to clap. <laughs> thank you. By the way, if you need some uh, help with your credit, you might want to call her. Kind of help me out. So, um, the person to know in the room. All right. So, with that being said, welcome again. Come on. It's, it's raining. It's, it's late. Okay. I want to say a special shout out to um, 
Rebecca Rienzi, who is from the Pathfinders for Autism, who is here. You want to stand up and say hi or no, wave, okay? Uh, Pathfinder for Autism, so how's thank you. And um, I want to say Colleen Fisher, who is here from the Department of Commerce. Hi, Colleen. Okay, I want to thank my family and everybody, and everybody again for coming out. So right now, we're going to bring up our uh, one of our keynote speakers tonight. Her name is Joyce Stanley, and she's going to talk to you a little bit about... Um, just uh, being an entrepreneur and the pursuit of being an entrepreneur and its happiness. So let's put our hands together again uh, for Joyce Stanley. Come on. So Janice gave me a reason to dress up. Who feels like really, really like they, they really went out of their way to make sure they came here? Okay, so I just want you to know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you because Again, as the sister said, you could have been anywhere else tonight. You chose to come and spend a few hours with Janice to help make her night a success. And that's what it's all about. It's all about us entrepreneurs being able to support each other and hold each other accountable. So if you know anything about me, and if you don't know anything about me, I know a lot of times you, you guys come out to events like this and people say, cut yourself from I'm going to say, cut your cell phones off and don't put them on. Because I want you to make sure you're able to follow me because I have a whole lot of other stuff to be able to share with you once you leave here tonight. So all of my handles are Joy and Stanley. All of them. And I made it really easy for you. I put a little card in all of the gift bags you're going to walk away with you tonight. Right? Because a lot of times we come out to events like this and we say, oh my God. Because we forget to do stuff like that. You know that, right? Because you know we're not perfect. But we forget those things. So when I was asked to come down and share just a, a few words with you, Janice and I had a conversation. And our conversation went something like this. We talked about what I do for a living. We talked about what she does for a living. And then we started talking about how it all kind of coincides with each other. And how do we look at what it is we do? Are we lifing or are we living? Let me say it again. I want you to really think about the question. Are we lifing? Are we just going about life living? Or are we living? So I'm going to share with you. Stay away from this mic, this, this, this um, speaker. Uh, but I didn't want to stand in front of them. So I'm going to share with you the difference of the two. When you're living, you are taking in every single thing around you. So you know that there's, there's a saying, have you just stopped to smell the roses today? When you're driving to work every single morning, are you paying attention to the buildings that you're passing, the car that's next to you. Not getting angry because somebody's driving too slow and you're running late for work in the morning and you're only paying attention to the time to get to work. Or are you lifing? Are you so mundane that you go to work the same way every single day, you don't pay attention to anything around you, you get to work, you do your nine to five, you, you are watching that clock because at 5 o'clock, you are out of there. You're going home, you're preparing dinner, you're doing homework if you have children, you're correcting homework if you have children, you're putting them in the tub, you're getting them in the bed, and then you prepare your day for the next day. You go to bed and you wake up and you do the same thing over and over and over again, day in and day out. That's the difference between living and life How many of you are life and how many of you are living? We are programmed that at the age of, is it 65 for women now, or 67 and 65 for men to retire? We're programmed to think about retire, retiring to start living. What about those of us that don't make it to retire? True. True story, I woke up Monday morning, scrolling through social media. I got a phone call that someone who was near and dear to my heart passed. 
and she was only in her early 60s. I want to say she just retired. I can't tell you whether or not she had a chance to enjoy life and live it. Because her life was taken away from her just like that. So what are you doing to create the balance between the two? It's nothing wrong with life thing, because we have to life, right? And when I say we have to life, there's certain things you have to do every day to make things happen for you. But how much are you enjoying living while you're lifing? Because you can do both. You can do both. We are so trained at just doing one. Lifing day in and day out. So how many of you really were looking forward to coming here tonight? Don't, don't raise your hand. It's, it's, it's a question because the question is going to be followed with this. I walked up here saying I was cute, because guess what I did? Come, when, when Monday came, I was thinking about what I was going to wear to come here. I was thinking about what I was going to wear to come here. I got a little upset because I wasn't able to get that appointment to get my hair done. But it's okay. Because I'm living. Every single moment of every single day, I'm not allowing myself to get caught up in life. And I'm rolling with the punches as they come. I'm dunking them, I'm dunking some of them, but I'm rolling with the punches as they come. But I'm gonna make sure I slow down enough to enjoy this thing called life. Because what I know for certain is I can close my eyes tonight and may not wake up tomorrow morning. So that leads me with the next question. What legacy are you living, leaving for those that have watched you live your life? As entrepreneurs, and I'm an entrepreneur. I don't know if you, any of you know about the product called the Lockstock, but I am the owner of an international product called the Lockstock. It's a hair accessory product, plug, plug. Right. And what happens is as I am working, I've been blessed and fortunate enough, my husband and I, to have a product that takes us all over the country to do our work. And baby, you better believe I get a chance to live. Because the one thing that I will not do is wake up every morning and work a business, because those of us that are in the room that are entrepreneurs, there is no nine to five. It's a nine to whenever, right? And I don't care how much you try to train yourself to, to, to work normal hours, entrepreneur life does not call for normal hours. Entrepreneur life has me up at 5 o'clock in the morning, most mornings, getting on flights, coming home, not even understanding what my week has been like. Has been like. But you best believe that I'm going to live the life. I'm not going to allow it to go by me, and then once my time comes, someone says, oh yeah, she really had a great product. Well, they're going to say, oh my God, that girl lived. She lived her life with that product. Did you see her social media page? Every time I turned around, she was somewhere else, but she was working and living at the same time. So I don't even call what I do work. I love what I do. Because if you don't love what you do, you're lifing. If you do not love what you do and you're only doing it to receive a paycheck at the end of the week, you are lifing. So for those of you who are in this room tonight, how, by show of hands, how many entrepreneurs do we have in the room? Oh, wow. So, so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. You understand that you have to enjoy the life that we're living because nobody is guaranteed to give us a paycheck at the end of the week. We work really, really hard to make sure that we're able to be able to live. Right? Yes. So what happens with so what happens with everything that I'm that I'm, I'm making sure that you, you you really get to the point subconsciously? And I was just having this conversation with one of the women in the back. Subconsciously, we, we know, we're programmed for what it is we're supposed to be doing. Especially at this age. 
If you're a woman in this room of a certain age, <laughs> you're already programmed to know what it is you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be taking care of your finances, taking care of your husband or your wife or your, your, your husband or your mate or your children or your, your significant other. That's just what we are programmed to do. No one taught us to be programmed to enjoy it. No one taught us to be programmed to like what we're doing. We have just been programmed to do and to live life according to what the lifestyle it is that you want to live. But if you're not living the life according to the lifestyle that you want to live, how much of your life are you losing or missing out on? Entrepreneurship, and, and I'm, I'm very grateful. Let me, let me just make sure you understand. I'm grateful to have an international product that has been around for the last 18 years. I'm grateful. But can I tell you, if I didn't like doing this, I would be miserable at it. And the product wouldn't be as successful as it is. Because your success in everything that you do while you're living it comes from the joy that you have while doing it and being able to live through the process of doing it. When you're lifing, if you're in this room and you're lifing, you're not enjoying what you're doing. And you're making excuses as to why it is you're doing it. When you're lifing, you're doing what you're doing because it's serving a purpose. It's, it's serving a need, it's not serving a purpose. When you're lifing, you're only doing what you have to do and you're only doing that much of it. You're not creating a bigger picture for the end result when you're lifing. Because that's what people do when, they life, when they're just lifing. You're doing just enough to get by. As entrepreneurs, we don't have that ability to do just enough to get by. We always have to think about what's gonna take us to the next level. We always got to think about those partnerships that we can align ourselves with that's going to hold us accountable. And if you don't have an accountability partner in this room as an entrepreneur, I'm going to encourage you to get one. And if you don't have one, call me. Because it's the only way that you're going to really start to understand how to level up in your business and in your life and live your life according to your terms. Not according to what your books are saying, whether you're in the red or in the black. Not, not, that's not living. That's lifing. Am I making sense here? I'm like, you guys are like all oh, in. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But I just want to make sure that the points that I'm making, you're getting the points that I'm making. Because I don't want you to leave here tonight and not have the opportunity to understand the difference between lifing and living. Because too many of us are doing it. Too many of us are doing it, and we're not enjoying our life. We're not having fun doing it. I was excited to come down here from New Jersey. I was excited to be able to meet new people and to be able to talk about what it is that I do and get to know what it is that you do. Because I live every moment of my life. I live with the opportunity of being able to collaborate with someone new or being able to bring someone else's business to New Jersey. That's living. Lifing is, I've come, down to, I've come down to Baltimore and I've met 10 or 20 or 15 people, I'm collecting business cards and I'm going back home and those business cards are going on the desk. That's lifing. Lifing is, I'm gonna put on my social media page that I was at the Holiday Inn doing a, a, an event tonight and then to Saturday I'm gonna wake up and not even think about this event. That's lifing. Living is making sure you make networking connections. Being able to touch two, three, or four people in this room tonight and gaining some sort of networking connection with one another. That's living. Getting to know exactly what everybody in this room does. Every single time I do an event like this, I challenge you. I challenge you. Meet five new people in this room tonight before you leave here. Because if you don't take the first step to make the connection, you're lifing. You're not living. Because there's someone in this room that may be able to take your business to the next level and you don't even know about it because you've been lifing. You've just been lifing. You've been going along in a 
a comfortable status. Those that are successful are very uncomfortable. We're always looking for ways of leveling up our business, period. We don't fit inside of a box, which is why we live. We don't life. Those that are life can fit inside that box. When you're living, you're taking on every new opportunity and every new aspect to learn something from someone else differently. And I also challenge you this before I leave. Who's sitting at your table? Those that are sitting at your table, are they just lifey? Are they just okay with who they are? Who's sitting at your table? When you pick up the telephone and you need some answers to a business question, who are those folks that you're calling? Are they lifing or are they living? Everybody should be an example of what it is you aspire to be. If those are not the people that are sitting at your table, they are lifing right along with you. They're not living. Successful people look for people who are living, who can bring something to the table and who can feed off of one another. I challenge you this evening, because there's a lot more people in this room now than there was before. So that there's, there's quite a few people here. I challenge you to meet five new people and to start living. Do an assessment check of yourself tomorrow. Identify with yourself whether or not you're living or whether you're just lifing. It will be the, it will be the make or break difference of how it is you continue to be successful in the business that you're working I really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to come and speak before you this evening. Janice, thank you so, so much. Give Janice a hand. And let me tell you why, because I don't know of, of, of those of you that are in the room that have put events together. This is not easy to do. It's not easy to do. And I'm sure that there was a level of anticipation and anxiety and, and everything. But give yourselves a round of applause for coming out, making her, to, to be able to make her dream successful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. that I just met, her name is Mariah, and we're gonna introduce her in a minute. I wanna bring the beauty queens up, and we're gonna, I'm gonna follow up on Joy's uh, message a little bit. So I wanna go around the room, and you wanna do it, I'll do it. You got it, okay. So I want, we're gonna meet five new people today in the room. We're gonna start with the practice manager, and her name is? Adrienne Davis, and I'm an old practice administrator. Woo. Okay. And I love her. She just got a brand new truck, so I'm the same. Okay. Stand up, tell people a little bit about who you are. Hello, everyone. My name is Adrienne Davis. I am actually um, currently my day job is a practice administrator for Johns Hopkins Community Physicians at East Baltimore Medical Center. I have been there for the last 19 years. I started off as a medical assistant and I went to school and I advanced and now the department is mine. <laughs> but also my fun job, as you can see, yeah, I'm blinged out because I'm cute and that's what I like to do. So my fun job is I'm um, working I'm sorry, is um, of being a part of Tracy Lynn Fashion Jewelry and Accessories. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of Tracy Lynn. Can I get some hands? Anybody? <laughs> no problem, I got it. So um, anyway, so I have been a part of um, Tracy Lynn for almost three years and it's fun, it's exciting. I get to meet wonderful people and I get to be cute and fabulous doing it. It's um, nice to meet new people. My website is Adrian Davis. Um, oh, it's Tracy Lynn. 
dot com backslash Adrian Davis. So if anyone has any questions or um, would like to maybe purchase something, have a party. I'm fun, as you can see. Please let me know. Thank you, everyone. Have a fabulous night. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry to <laughs> Sir, would you like to introduce yourself? You got two minutes. <laughs> First impression advertising. Uh, is this on? Is it on? Put it closer to your mouth. Okay. <laughs> I'm the owner of First Impression there Advertising. We, and, um, we do uh, radio and TV commercials. We make uh, radio and TV commercials. Put it closer. There you go. Okay, wait a minute. Look, he can help me look fabulous, but he's, he don't want to do his own horn, so we will do this for you. Okay. Do it. <laughs> First impression advertising. We we do uh, radio and TV commercials. We design billboards, digital billboards. We also uh, do uh, drone commercials, drone shooting commercials. Uh, we've done quite a few campaigns for Janet, so we're actually working on two commercials for her right now. So if you want to be able to do an affordable campaign without spending a ton of money, and you want to zone certain markets, uh, Bounce TV, Monday Night Football, Lifetime, whatever, we do that. Uh, we also all design websites. Uh, FirstImpressionsTV.com. That's my website. All right. Yeah, cards. <laughs> so, um, he, actually, my presentation tonight, you'll see he did that. So, uh, but we're going to come back. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk to this group here. Would you, would you guys like to talk? Yes. You want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Christy Johnson, and my organization is Finding Your Destiny. It's a domestic violence and suicide prevention. And this is also my business. Say it again. Partner. They can't hear you. Say it again. Um, Christy Johnson, <laughs> Finding Your Destiny Incorporated. It's a nonprofit domestic violence and suicide prevention organization. And you can go to the website at www.findingyourdestiny.org. Crystal, why you had to come to this event before we actually met, standing face to face? But okay, girl, hi. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go and talk to. You wanna stand up and introduce yourself, everybody, and tell people who you are? Um, I'm Rebecca Rienzi I'm with Pathfinders for Autism. Uh, we are a statewide nonprofit that serves families uh, raising loved ones with autism. Uh, so we offer a resource referral service line. You can contact us, uh, phone, social media, email, and we'll help you connect with services anywhere in the state. We also do training for both parents and professionals, working a lot with first responders in the state. And additionally, we do recreational program, uh, programming across the state. So, uh, for example, last weekend we rented out the National Aquarium and had 1,700 family oh, members great. join us. Woo! Everything we do is free, and we're a Maryland based, so when folks donate to us, that money stays right here in this community. All right. I'm going to piggyback on that because what I want to ask everybody tonight is if you would take one dollar and put it in her hand before she leaves tonight. And I can tell you, I support Pathfinders for Autism because they have supported my family. My family went to the National Aquarium because they looked out for our family. So they work. They're one of the few charities that I actually believe in. I know that they work. So I'm asking if you would, before you leave tonight, one dollar, 50 cent. You know, he's not here tonight, but 50 cent. <laughs> okay? And I know she's good people. You can give her more than five, you can give her more than one. You can do it right now. You ain't got wait for me to finish talking. We can do that right now. And that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. I want to have my beauty queens, Miss Chile, Miss USA Maryland. I want you ladies to come up in here. First of all, we're going to take a picture and tell people who you are, why you're here. Uh, Cynthia Zarzar. Where's Cynthia? Cynthia, come. I want you to talk a few minutes. I want to talk to Melinda Smith. We're going to come to her next. And then we're going to move on to our trivia because Mariah didn't gave up on me, went over there and sat down because I'm walking around. We can give away some things. Kendall from 95.9, thank you for being here. That's my photographer for the evening. Yay, Kendall! Well, um, first of all, I want to say thank you to Jenny. Okay, to, to invite me to this event. 
Uh, my English is not very good, but I can communicate with you. My name is Cynthia Sarsar. I am CEO from the beauty pageant I organize every year. Here is one of those uh, girls last year. It was a contest. And I would like to invite all the girls they would like to participate for this year that are welcome to come. It's uh, ladies from 30 years and up. Uh, there are $5,000 the pricing, the big pricing, cash. So they are welcome to participate. Part of uh, my my event, I donate some some money. I donate to some organization every year. Last year, also I always do with some social risk. So welcome to come. In case they, they would like to check my website is bellezalatinausa.com. Thank you. And very nice to be here. One more time. Uh, your name? My name is Reina. <laughs> Queen, <laughs> 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 uh, Miss USA. She <laughs> doesn't speak English, but it's exciting. It's funny. Ah, my name is Flor Ramos. I'm representing Chile. How do you say it? I'm here in the States. Thank you very much. She does the organization for the So they are welcome to come this year. It will be on May 26th. And check the website, Belleza Latina USA. Thank you. Can you all just move together? Let's get this photo. All right, Maria. No, you come on in. I'm sorry, y'all. My bad. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. hold on. Wait a minute, you gotta take my picture with you. Actually, this is Sister Maria. Why do you keep running away? Come back. All right. So, I want to say, you see, we have a very diverse room with people in it tonight because business knows no color, no nationality. All we all know is what? Green. Green. So thank you ladies for being here. And they're available, you guys can take photos with them as well out at the backdrop in the lobby at the end, okay? Or after we do this break, whenever we get to that. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias. Okay. All right, so um, one more time, y'all sound like y'all going to sleep, so wake up, we will clap, we'll stand up, we'll do something like that, right? So keep you awake, we're gonna come back again, we're gonna meet five more people in this room, so we all know who's, I see Jonica back there on her phone, I see Melinda over here, she, she, uh, we trying to keep her awake. Yeah. Showboy is actually a performer, and speaking of performers, we have um, Dimitri Reeves, who is coming up in about five minutes, you guys are gonna love him, so if y'all fall asleep, you're gonna be awake. I wanna say a special thank you to, um, to Ron. Hi. <laughs> I wanna say a special thank you to, um, oh gosh, Leonette and Monica. These ladies are financial gurus who have their own radio show on WOLB 1010. I want to say hi here. We got competing radio stations. We got Kendall here with 95.9. <laughs> and Kia, something like that. I got it. All right. So look, I've been drinking and I still got it right. I want to say special, special, special thank you tonight to my DJ. Yeah, baby. DJ Sean. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my family, who, um, I've been real crazy all day. Look, I lost my dress, right? So we were talking about just getting past things and getting through to the next steps. I don't even know, my dress is somewhere in the house, but anyway, here I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was not the outfit. Because she was light working. <laughs> I was. All right, so you know, uh, okay, Joy, okay. <laughs> but um, I want to say really a special thank you to Where's Deborah Mason? Where's she at? Figure she's not in the room. Where's Tammy Hardy? Okay, well tell them that I talked about them and they was out in the hall buying stuff from the vendor table. Speaking of which, our vendors are here to sell. Buy. Y'all know me, I'm kind of, you know. <laughs> I'm not always, uh, don't say it right, but I mean well from my heart. Because at the end of the day, you know, people are asking for stuff, and we need stuff, and we want stuff. But how many of us give anything? 
Nobody, how many of us give anything? Nobody wants to give anything of themselves anymore. They don't want to give their time. They don't want to give of their money. They don't want to give of their knowledge. And that's really pretty easy. You know? But you guys are here tonight because we make a difference. This room tonight, now I don't know what y'all going to do when y'all leave here tomorrow, but today, y'all here, we matter. We can make a difference. Or we can wait on our president. Speaking of which, we have a live auction out there as well, too, with photos of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Feel free to buy them. And we're going to donate a portion of that money from the auction to the Pathfinders for Autism. I don't have any stock in their agency. I don't even know anybody in their agency. I've seen her once. But I believe in them. I really do. And I'm asking you guys, you know, we want stuff, we need stuff. We gotta support the people that support us. All right? So, Mariah. <laughs> She's like, I went to sleep. Come on. We got some trivia for y'all. I want to see how sharp since this was Black History Month, which I don't, you know, every month is Black History Month. And now we are in Women's History Month. I'm going to turn it over to my associate, Mariah. How's everyone doing tonight? Good. Thank you, Ms. Janice. All right, so we have two questions. I'm going to start off with one of our questions. These are for our um, rat bags. We have some really good things inside. So as soon as I ask the first, please keep your hand up for the first hand I see. You will have a chance to get one of these grab bags. So first question, what is the name of Madam C.J. Walker's first hair care product line? And you cannot use your phone. Uh huh. See, see, we got you. Bergamot. No. <laughs> If you know what you know. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Was it the hair comb? Like the straightening comb? That! And. <laughs> the the, line, of the, the name of the line. Comb? Oh, the line. Her lime. product. What was the name of her product? It was that. Oh, <laughs> so we ain't going there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So, how about I do the second question? Maybe we'll come back. Okay. So, it's, y'all know I'm gonna say something about this in a minute, right? Okay. So, the answer to the first question. You want a girl? We we live right now. We live it. We live it. We live it. All right. The answer is wonderful hair grower. <laughs> okay, so maybe this could be a little bit easier. Second question is, what was the city that Madam C.J. Walker's factory was in? <laughs> and you cannot use your phone. Detroit. No, not Detroit. Birmingham. Birmingham. No. Alabama. Alabama. Not Alabama. Mississippi. Yes. Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin. New York. Not New York. New Orleans. You can do city and state. Even if you give me state, I'll let you give me state. North Carolina. Tennessee. No. South Carolina. I like y'all. Ohio. You can do both. Not Baltimore. Chicago. No. Maryland. Okay, so we're going to take a little break. Yes. Close? No. New Orleans? Okay, we're going to take a break. I'll let it marinate. I'll come back and do the same thing. Okay, we're going to take a break. I'll let it marinate. I'll come back and do the same thing. Okay, look. All right, this is becoming a hostile crowd right now. So, this is, thank you. So we're going to no. let you guys go and check your phones. <laughs> and we come back and we're going to give you all the bag this first person we get. But again, you understand, this is everybody's history. Why we know as much as every year we have what in February? Why all these black people in this room, we don't know. <laughs> but it's history. All right, so without further ado, I want to introduce Mr. Dimitri Reeves, because 
We all need to, we need some entertainment. Our brains is tired. We're gonna rejuvenate it and we're gonna come back to these questions. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's like, shh, okay. <laughs> Check, 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 check. I'm trying to see how far I can come out before. So I won't feed you back. Real quick to give you some history while I'm doing this. My name is Dimitri Reeves. I do this all over Baltimore, California, New York, everywhere. I try to show black young youth that you don't have to resort to guns, violence, or gangs to make a decent hustle. They're going to talk about you whether you're driving a hoopty or a Cadillac. Have fun in between. Nobody gets out alive anyway. So that's my, that's my slogan while I'm trying to buy time. Check, check, check. Yeah, we're good. This is actually fantastic. That's fantastic. Boys getting that together. Is it in? I was gonna yell Wakanda when she asked. That was hilarious, but I thought nobody would laugh, so I kept to myself. Uh, once again, I do. Uh, I have a treat coming for you guys. I do Michael Jackson. I do a couple others, so it's gonna be hard dancing. And there we go. It's gonna be hard kind of dancing in between right here, but I'll try my best to entertain you guys with what I have. I'm ready.
singing and I just started doing this singing thing so this does not fit in here no that's fine it's fine I thought I had I thought I had a stand I got excited so <laughs> I don't have a curtain so that was embarrassing um all right so you can play when you're ready Baron Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a round of applause for Janice's daughter? She killed it. She killed it. She said, oh, that's my song. Won't let the little party. Can't out of jail. Prison guys. So I have one more song that I'm out. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this will be the last song ever, and I'm gone. Uh, this is my original song I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm out. Thank you, Glenn Roller Bear. so much. I really appreciate you. We do everything from bar mitzvahs to uh, raising uh, nursing homes 
to everything because we want we don't want people to feel forgotten. We do uh, funerals too. So just kidding, that's too much. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, you're like what? Never. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Thank you so much, Janice. You're awesome. We're just giving you the bags. Nicole kind of bringing them around. So the answer, Mariah, what's the answer? Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Now let me give you all a clue for the last one. Uh, Colleen Fisher, I want to introduce you to somebody. And then we're going to read five more people. We're going to take a break. Go support our vendors, please, because you know they're going to come back next year. <laughs> so I need y'all to go out and support them. I um, want to introduce you to Melinda Smith and Colleen Fisher. They're going to tell you a little bit about their businesses, and we're going to meet three more people in the room. We've got 15 minutes, so I'm trying to get it all together real quick. So, Colleen, please. I right, remember, guys, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Uh, hi. Good evening. It's super exciting to be here. Uh, it's awesome energy. Hold on. Hold on. All right, everybody. Let's just show each other the same respect, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that was awesome. Thank you so much. Um, you want a card? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, it's really disrespectful. I don't mean to be okay. <laughs> um, Really quick, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I do. Um, I work for the Department of Commerce here in Maryland, and we help companies export overseas. So. Entrepreneurs we find often have technology or ideas that are go global quicker than the older companies that took a long time to penetrate the US and then get over to Mexico and Canada and then get to Asia. Now it's like you have a website, people are finding you, they're immediately wanting your stuff. Um, and if you have questions about how to do that, come to us. I already nailed down Joy and got our card about her stuff in New Jersey. So um, if you need help, we're here to help you. It's hard, right? Different languages, different customs, different regulations. Um, are you going to get paid? All those questions. So, if you have a product, you're going global, come find us. We're in every state. We have 100 offices across the country and over 100 offices worldwide. So, the whole point is we have someone in each country to help you and they speak the local language and they're really supporting U.S. businesses. So, thank you for inviting us. We're excited to take you guys global. Um, what is it? Like 96% of customers live outside the U.S. borders. So, you're missing the market if you're not there. So, if you want to be there, we're happy to help you. So, thank you for having us. Information. is really humble. She not really telling y'all how smart she really is. But I'm gonna tell you. What she did tell you is that there is a trade, a travel grant for what? So, the state of Maryland, so we're the federal side here, but the state of Maryland has an export MD grant. Um, there's up to $5,000 out there for you. If you're going overseas, if you spend 10, you get five. So if you're already gonna go to a trade show in France, in Paris, and show your stuff off, might as well get reimbursed a little bit for it. So um, I guess Janice can share my information. I have to leave in a little bit, but I have cards. If you guys need help, you can get in touch with me. All you have to do to qualify for the service is be manufacturing in the U.S. or producing something in the U.S. Um, or adding U.S. content and creating jobs here. But there's money for companies trying to go overseas, about $5,000 to $6,000 if you're located in Maryland. Other states have it too, but here we have a really great grant. It's called the Export MD, and it's funded by the Small Business Administration. So. Take advantage of it. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Melinda Smith. Hi, Shalita. <laughs> All right. I saw my cupcake lady here. Melinda does. Good evening, everyone. Mine's going to be very brief. Mine is a new business, actually, just started. It's called Mimi Sweet Creations, and I create cinnamon rolls. Different variety. Um, and something that a friend of mine told me to get started because I think, as a matter of fact, everyone in my life told me you should bake. Do something with it because I think so. Like, um, no, that's not what I do. I, I'm multi talented But I decided to, you know, get started. So it's been about two years now. But um, I'm trying to, you know, get out there with my business and, you know, present it and let everyone, let everyone know. It's something new also, I do um, cinnamon roll party, something that people not aren't doing. Many cinnamon rolls have served a party, any flavors you want. And I have, uh, right now, I have a lot of 
eight varieties, new varieties, and I'm steady coming up with different varieties. Um, I didn't bring my business cards tonight, but, you, but yeah, she loves me. Everyone, everyone loves me. Matter of fact, many people tell me that it tastes better than cinnamon rolls. What's your cash price? Yeah. Little, what? Little piece of heaven. Are you giving me a slogan? Well, I like it, so I'm gonna use. <laughs> I like it. What is it? Can you say what it is? Seriously, <laughs> little bits of heaven. That's gonna be my new slogan. I have coupons tonight for everyone as well from the cinnamon rolls. You get a dozen of cinnamon rolls, twenty percent off. Okay. Andrea, Andrea Crawley. We want to hear from Andrea. She's gonna to talk to you about financial services. We're gonna take a break, and we're coming back with our last speaker tonight, Cynthia Dottery, who's gonna to talk to you about wellness. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Thank you, Janice, for coming out. I also want to acknowledge two of my colleagues in the room, Shonda and her husband, um, and Janika as well. Um, really quickly, my husband and I have um, had the awesome pleasure for the past 22 years to be able to help individuals and families rewrite their money story. Everyone in here has a story. You have your business story, you have your money story, life story, kids, so everybody has a story. But well, we've had the awesome pleasure to help families just change their mindset when it comes to their finances. If in fact, I'd like to ask everyone a question. When was the last time you kind of evaluated your relationship with money? Oftentimes, we, we don't even, you may not even think about your relationship with money, but your story could be a lack thereof, wanting your business to grow, expand, or things of that nature. Well, what we do is we help our clients to make that mental shift. Because I don't, it doesn't matter how hard you work, what desires you have, if in fact your belief, or if you don't have a belief system as far as a good relationship with your money, the shift won't happen. You won't be in alignment. Your beliefs have to be in alignment with your desires and your actions in order for you to manifest that um, as far as prosperity in your life. So that is what we help our clients with. The tools that we use to help our clients is called a financial needs analysis. This is an awesome, awesome analysis. It's customized, meaning it's made just for you. It's complimentary, which is awesome. We um, are able to come out and work with you complimentary with this analysis. Our company pays the companies that we use, the services that we utilize to provide you the service. That's how we are paid. And it's confidential. Our inf your information is not shared with anyone else. And so in closing, I know we have two minutes, I'd like to say we are opening, we are expanding offices in the area. We are looking for people who are interested in making the shift as far as financial services. You have to have um, a background check a few certifications and licensing, which we pay for. We have a table right outside. And so um, for the first 20 people, we also have gift cards. So for the first 20 people that come out and fill out a short survey, you'll receive a gift card. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, and our last one before we go to our break, I want to introduce Dr. Humphrey. All right, so he's gonna tell you a little bit about himself. Thank you. First of all, uh, thanks, Sister Janice, for the opportunity and for all the great people in this room. Some people strive to be great, and some people are, are born great. And uh, as I look around, I'm glad I didn't leave. And I see uh, the multicultural uh, everyone here. I know people say black lives matter, but all lives matter to me. And uh, I am the chief of the Baltimore Trauma Response Team. And uh, anyone who needs to get my information, uh, I'll, I'll give it to you before I leave. There is a reason why we see so many murders in Baltimore City. And if we want to change this, we have to step up and stop the blame. We gave ourselves the name, and I say we, Baltimore being the worst city in the country, we have to change that. And people like yourself, Sister Janice, and everybody in this room is responsible. Because if I don't feel safe and I can't go where I want to go, then what, what you say, you life him? Where's Joy? What she say, you life him? Joy? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, if I can't, I was born and raised in Lafayette Projects. If I can't go where I want to go, 
then uh, I may as well, life is not worth living, I may as well be dead. Thank you for the opportunity, and I'm, I'm honored to be here. I was invited by uh, my little sister, Rita Church, and uh, also my business partner in the back, Sister Johnson, who uh, finding your destiny. And we are honored to be here, and uh, I like the way how you keep things moving. I was always taught as a preacher, do what you ask to do, and sit down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, speaking from a female perspective, you know these these heels you get about three hours and then you really do just kind of want to go sit down. So, I just am so grateful for everybody that I give yourselves another round of applause, please. I know we finally got some air here. I don't know about y'all, but I'm thankful for the air. So thank you. And I'm thankful for the meatballs. I ain't getting But if you didn't eat, there's food in the background. Um, so I'm going to ask, here's a trivia question. I'm going to ask some one person in the room to tell me the name of somebody else, somebody else in the room and what they do. Okay. That's okay. Michaela? Okay. She's a student at Towson. All right, no, not, so me. Tell That's me. not me. Who's Michaela? Oh. All right, anybody else want to talk about somebody else in the room? All right, I'm going over here. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, yes. I would like to introduce Miss Lanea Jordan. Thank you. What did she do? Did you, did you, did you meet you me tonight? I am a HVAC heating and air conditioning business owner. Um, I've been in business. <laughs> Myself and my husband, we've been in business for three years. This year will make three years. And we're local. We work on HVAC, um, heating, air conditioning, refrigeration. I have an HVAC license. I just now got license for refrigeration yesterday. I also awesome. I have an urban romance, um, urban romance book called Tone But Not Broken. Yeah. So I wanted to introduce Miss Leonette. She does. We already she, know her. I know, right? Like, but I've heard bad for her. Right? You asked her. You asked the question. She does. Other than a radio show, she does um, credit repair. So you didn't see that. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't say that. Okay, okay. 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 Anybody else? Oh, you want me to Yes, sir. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm a <laughs> okay, I've met a lot of the wonderful vendors, so I, I'm just going to say that they have awesome stuff, and as you said, please go out because it takes a lot as a business owner, which we all know, um, to get up and bring this stuff in. It was raining outside, they had to unpack their stuff, pack it back up, so please support the vendors. We have to do more with support. Hello, my name is Jasmine. My name is Jasmine L. Johnson author of The Vacants. I'm here tonight uh, selling my book with the rest of the vendors. So far I'm having a great time, enjoying a great company of so many people, networking more than anything. And I want to thank Janice for having me out tonight. I'm actually having a nice time. The atmosphere is lovely. I have met a lot of um, entrepreneurs here and their businesses and um, I'm just having a nice time and I am look forward to seeing what else happens tonight. Um, my show, The Beauty in the Business, um, is a show where I go to local businesses in the beauty industry and we cover topics and questions and concerns that some potential clients will want to know before they actually make their appointment. Uh, recently we visited the Snatch Beauty Bar located in Parkville, Maryland, where we discussed some of the body contouring, you can do non-invasive body contouring, um, which clients go instead of actually having plastic surgery they that's another method they can use to sculpt their body we asked a lot of good questions to help clients understand the actual process recently I did a red carpet show um, with Be More Couture's fashion show we are host the red carpet I interviewed some of the guests good are you enjoying yourself tonight Absolutely. Okay. And you are? My name is Heather. Okay. 
You Chrissy. Are. Chrissy? Yeah. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your business. So we are with Pure Romance. So we specialize in adult parties for ladies 18 and older. We have bath and body products, massages, lingerie, and then couples intimacy toys. Okay. Good. How long have you all been doing this? I joined in October of last year. Okay. How far do you like it? It's pretty good. It's challenging. Okay. But it gets you out there and have you meet new people and like really teach them and educate them about their love life. Okay. It's very nice. Good. What do you like about it? Um, I love the sisterhood of it. I have done other direct sales companies before and it's just a little different. There's so much support and it's so nice to just feel like there are other women going through the same thing and they're always there to help you with everything. It's great. <laughs> Okay, good, great. What are one of your favorite items you offer? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, my favorite is our basic instinct. Okay. Um, it's a pheromone roll-on, and it smells different on each person, mm -hmm. so it interacts with your body's chemistry. Um, but my favorite thing is that it helps with migraines, okay. which, <laughs> with as a migraine sufferer, it's amazing because I don't have to take extra medication. Mm -hmm. Just put it on my temples, and it helps relieve that headache. Okay. <laughs> wow. Exciting. What about you? What's your favorite? My favorite is the Kiss Body Spray. Okay. I am a hot box. I'm sweating all the time. Okay. This will instantly cool you off. And then if you are a beach lover like me, I don't get in the water, I'm not a swimmer, okay? But I will go sit on the beach. <laughs> you put it in the freezer mm -hmm. for about two hours and then it's like a slush cool mist all over you. Wow, good. It's amazing. Great. And it has pheromones in it. Okay, maybe I should try it. You should. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you had any advice for anybody who wants to start in the business, what would you advise them to do? How can they go about starting in if they want to be part of the business? Oh, come talk to me. I've got you ready tonight. I'm ready to get everybody started. Um, and I would just say jump in because honestly, it's so much fun and you'll doubt it for so long. And then once you start, you're like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Good. So it's just get in there and do it because it, you're not going to regret it. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank you, ladies, for coming to talk to me. Thank, Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you? Okay. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to sit here and share. Great, great. And your name and your business? Uh, Layla Harrigan, and I'm with Wakaya Perfection, which is a health and wellness company. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you guys specialize? Uh, we specialize, we are the keto lifestyle company. Uh, we have the secret to fat loss. Okay. And so we, we're helping so many people, not only just the weight loss, but uh, health issues. Okay. I mean, people that have been suffering with diabetes, getting off medications and pain relief and... Um, you know, just autoimmune stuff, and we can't say cure, but people, I mean, when people are healed and they feel really great, you know, you can't mistake that. So I'm here to just spread the message because it has helped me in a tremendous way as well, giving me more energy, and my skin, um, you know, I'm down 30 pounds. Um, I just got off a free cruise with Wakaya, this is my second one, and the difference is, uh, the first one, I put on getting eight pounds coming off. Mm -hmm. This time, I lost a pound. Wow. But because of that Bula Fit program mm -hmm. that they have, and um, nobody can tell me it doesn't work because we, we're just changing lives. And I'm so excited. I wish I could s scream it to the world. But they, they really don't know. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. Okay, great. How would someone get in contact with you if they were interested in the services that you uh, they can reach me by phone. My number is 917-273-3067. Or they can reach me at uh, my, the website is mission, M-I-S-S-I-O-N-01 dot dot com. That's M-Y-W-A-K-A-Y-A dot -A -A com. Great, great, great. So what advice would you give someone who's actually looking for those type of services and they're really not sure which route to go what, what, what advice would you give them um well i would say first off is you know do your research you know how long you've been looking to to lose weight to, to make a change i mean how many people going into the 2018 said oh i'm gonna lose this weight i'm gonna go to the gym and a month in 
what happened? What had you know? <laughs> back off. Back, back off, off again. Starting right. All over, starting on Monday. Over. Monday, I'll start over. <laughs> exactly, but it just comes to a point where you just got to figure it out and say, "This is it." I mean, if we tried so many other things, but if somebody's saying to you that this works, we. I can't even begin to tell you, people that are foodies, people struggle with weight all their life trying to make a change, and they haven't success. And the thing is, that gets me is, initially a lot of them said, I don't want to do the business, just want to be a customer. Yes. You go right ahead and be a customer. Those same customers wind up turning out to want to do the business to make additional money. And right now we have something called uh, a plan to a grand. Mm -hmm. Um, and our new pay setter program, which we're, which is allowing us to be able to uh, have people make an additional thousand dollars a month in their household. So the initial money that you put into the business to get a Paradise Pack, we're making sure that you get that back. Great. And I'm helping so many people do that. I'm from New York, and I came down here today. I, as a matter of fact, I didn't know. Uh, Miss Janice. Mm -hmm. I was looking to build in a different area and uh, where a lot of my Wakaya family is down here in Baltimore. Yeah. They're doing pretty well. And I said, let me come down here. And uh, I said, I was looking online for, and then I saw this, this open. I said, wait a minute, this red carpet affair? I got to. Yeah. So I called her. She actually picked up the phone and the connection was unbelievable. So you always follow when the spirit tells you to, to move and do something. And yes. I'm supposed to be working today. Yes. I knew it was taking Friday off because I have an event Saturday, but Thursday I disrupted everything. <laughs> wow. That's great. That's awesome. Yes. So yes. I'm so glad you came out thank tonight. Thank you. And thank you for sharing your business with I us. I appreciate it, and okay. I hope to see you all because with our health is our wealth. Hello, my name is Muriel Locks Walton, and I am an independent consultant with um, Fashionable Bling. Well, my name of my company is Fashionable Blings. We sell paparazzi jewelry. Everything is $5 plus tax. Everything is nickel and lead free. Every um, necklace comes with a matching pair of earrings. We also have a Zai collection, a signature collection, which is $25 plus tax. And these pieces are named after our consultants that ranked up really high. So um, I'm having a very good time at, at this event. I'm really blessed to be here. And... I'm, I'm very blessed to be here, and I'm just having fun, just having fun. I love the business that I am. Um, I was, I've heard whether, are you a lifer or a liver? At this point, when I turned 50, at this point, I start living my life. So now I am living my life. I, I enjoy doing what I do. I enjoy selling um, jewelry, making every woman feel so comfortable within their skin, making every woman beautiful and um, confident about themselves. So I really enjoy what I do.